Hello, uh, my name is Helmut, Helmut Hillenkamp from Iron to Live With uh, here in Santa Fe. Um, we carry the Cymec air hammers and um, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about how to break them in uh, and how to get them properly lubricated uh, when in, during that break-in period. We mostly do the break-in uh, here before we um, send them out to you, but it can't hurt uh, to do a little bit more. Sometimes there's a little squeak at the, at the top of the stroke on the ram. Uh, that's when the, when the ram collar is a little bit tight on the ram cylinder and the turning, the, the grooves from the turning of the ram and make a little bit of a music, uh, but that'll break in pretty quick. Just make sure you have enough oil on the hammer, but don't overdo it, otherwise there'll be a little bit of a mess. So let's go over there and look at it. So here's one of the hammers ready to go. The wood block is holding the ram up from the cell block. I'm going to turn the hammer on. And then I'm going to Lower the ram. At this point, I will lubricate the ram with a little bit of extra oil up here, all the way around. And then I bring it back up. Oh, you can hear that squeak there for a moment, maybe. That's the squeak I was talking about. Anyway, see it? That squeak will disappear after you break uh, the hammer in a little bit more. This one has now five hours or five and a half hours on it. Now let's uh, go in the back and uh, talk about the oiler. I'm going to turn this off. Here's the oiler. <coughs> The oiler uses up the oil that's in here and uh, lubricates the hammer with it. It does not recirculate the oil. So the oil uh, level in here behind this, in, in this uh, glass, it'll, the oil level will go down low, low, low. When it's kind of uh, pretty low, you have to open the uh, screw here and um, fill it with SAE 30, 30 weight oil. Um, and usually what I do is I start out with the um, oil valve in a completely po uh, closed position, like this. Then I open it a few turns just to prime it. Now I'm going to turn the machine on, wait for a few seconds for some extra oil to get in here. Then I will close this hard and open it one sixteenth of a turn. One sixteenth, this one says one eight. One eight. So it's one sixteenth to one eighth of a turn. Um, so let's do that. So, open it. Close it. Close it hard. And then open it. I've got mine. That should be enough. The right amount of lubrication is you run your finger along here, you should see like a little smear where my finger went. I don't know if you can see it here. A little smear, but not more than that. It doesn't need more than that. If you have oil dripping at the bottom here, or if you have oil mist coming out at the back, I'm going to show you what that looks like because this hammer had a little bit of uh, too much oil coming uh, out at the same time here. See that? That oil is being sprayed out here and is making a mess. When that happens, when you get a lot of mist coming out here, um, you need to kind of turn off the valve 
uh, oil valve and wait for this uh, hammer to run more dry before you uh, uh, open it again. Um, the other thing I've been doing, sometimes if it makes a mess in the shop, because we don't want a mess in the shop, I put a sock over here or I tie a, a, a rag. See? Now I'll catch the oil mess. Um, Just do me the favor, make sure if you use the rag, stay there when you use the hammer. We don't want this to catch fire for any reason. This is not really an official way to do things, but uh, uh, it is actually really annoying when you got the oil mist spraying out. Um, the other thing that we recommend is uh, that you um, either run the exhaust pipe to the outside or uh, you catch it in some other way going to the ceiling. I'm going to show you quickly what I did here with uh, two hammers in the shop. Uh, this is my old machine I bought from Tom Clark back in the day. Uh, and we ran the exhaust in the, into the old muffler all the way to the ceiling. And you can see, even then, sometimes oil comes out. And there's, uh, sometimes somebody will forget the, uh, to have the, the oil valve in the, in the right position. And uh, here on this one, uh, I don't know, can you see it? It's a 50. Uh, we run the pipe all the way to the outside of the building and then down here into a bucket. The uh, details of that are uh, actually described in, uh, in our manual. So please look that up. This is just a little bit of, an, uh, of a more informal introduction to uh, the first part of using a hammer. I hope you enjoy everything about it and uh, that you have a good time and happy working and successful nice pieces with your work. Okay, thank you.